Hello everyone, this is Easy from MSLumiBlog.com and this is a quick hands-on video of Build 10.166 for Windows 10 Mobile. So Microsoft just released a new build um, for Windows 10 Mobile. This is build 10166 which is the same build number as uh, Windows 10 build that was released earlier this week, which also 10,166. So this is the first time we're seeing the same builds on both platforms for PCs, tablets, and mobile phones. Um, I don't know if there's any significance to it, but just worthy of noting out here. And next up, uh, the main improvements to this build is mainly um, enhancements, improvements, uh, the whole user experience to it is much polished, it's faster. Uh, most of the bugs from the previous build 10149 have been fixed. So uh, the problem with the pin, entering your pin from the lock screen has been fixed. Um, you can enter it right now and it's not a problem. But then again, uh, what else? The store app has been updated. Uh, it no longer has the beta tag on it and the old store app has been removed so um, most of your app installs updates are going to be coming from the new universal windows store app and i'll show you why i say universal because it is truly oh you can see there's a nice uh don't know if you missed that let's show you that again so here there's a nice animation shows you the basket right there at the bottom so that's the animation new animation for windows store this is exactly the same store app on your windows 10 for pc or tablet and uh, a nice feature which i have been sending feedback about is being able to open your apps from the store so for instance search for whatsapp here It's still kind of slow, so but there is WhatsApp, and I should have a button right there to open WhatsApp from the store app. So um, that's a big improvement. And let's see, it takes a while, so it's not fully polished yet, but uh, they're making great strides with it. And going on, also the oh, so there you go. So now, just like on Windows 10 for PC, there is. Uh, an open button it doesn't say launch like an android which is good um, it says open so you can so once you install an application for instance once it's done installing um, the install button changes to open and there you can just directly open the app so that's huge uh, there are no longer any update bugs as far as I'm concerned I haven't seen any you can search for updates there is now the notification that shows you it is checking for updates just like a uh, Windows Store again on your Windows 10. So this is really the same uh, Windows Store app running on your PC and phone. And as you can see, the tile is now transparent, just like the Microsoft Edge tile is also transparent here. So that those are two um, improvements to this build. Then again, the battery icon has been improved on also. It's now bigger, about the same height as your clock. Um, the size to me I think is a slightly bigger than what I expected but it will do better than what we had before with the really tiny icon. So Microsoft did fix that too. Uh, what else? Um, the volume. You can see with the volume here the uh, controls really rounded now compared to previous view. It has rounded edges can turn the volume down and one thing I did notice is um, the Groove Music app here so say for instance you're playing a song Let's see if I can get some to play there's nothing it should populate all my music it's not it's not doing that here okay. Let's say you play a song. And while the song is playing, you can see the nice new controls. I don't know if this is, 
Now, actually, I did notice in the last few um, these new uh, media controls were here. There is a lot of user feedback uh, suggesting to move the media controls to the notification center. So we'll see if Microsoft um, makes changes to that in the near future. And what else do we have? Oh, uh, there's a nice. I also did notice you can uh, Windows 10 Mobile now supports uh, multiple accounts. So I'll show you that right now. You can go to your accounts from settings and click on your account and you can actually sign in. You can add another Microsoft account. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't have a second account. I'll probably try that out later. But you can try it out, add a second Microsoft account and it would sync probably your contacts or whatever um, sync settings you have with that account. So there you go. You can actually add a Microsoft account and have two accounts running on the same phone. How you would switch between the two of them, um, I will test that out in a bit and probably drop a line in the description below. But uh, yeah, that is something I did notice with this build. And what else? If you go to file explorer and you can see now mp3 files have a groove music icon try to see if i can make that focus there you go so you can see all your mp3 files have a mp3 or have a groove music icon to it so it tells you pretty much just like on your windows 10 pc that this file will be opened by the groove music app and this is the same thing on windows 10 for pc so that's a good addition to it um, and it looks like Microsoft is also uh, integrating the games hub to uh, the Xbox. I'll show you in a bit. So when you go into the games hub, uh, there's really nothing there because this was really tied to the old Microsoft uh, Windows Store. So no games found because the Windows Store, the original Windows Store is gone. So I'm, I figure that this is going to go away probably in the next build. But yeah, this is definitely going away. So as you can see, um, it's kind of nothing's happening here. It's just a dud uh, application. So everything now is being routed to the Xbox app. So what the Games Hub used to do, it's now done here in the Xbox app. All your games are in here. And this is obviously user feedback as I also did suggest uh, Microsoft integrate uh, games with uh, the Xbox app here. So. There is you can always go to my game so it doesn't just show you games you have in your xbox because i don't have an xbox so what it's going to do is show you the games you have installed on your phone and there they are so yeah and you can go to the store to find more games which is what the game top app used to do so that is a nice uh, change and also i also suggested the podcast application here be moved to groove music it should be integrated into groove music here but uh we'll see if you do enough feedback let's see if microsoft actually had their hairs to that um suggestion uh what else everything looks dandy works better it's smoother than the last build um am i missing anything uh, let's see transparent tiles so yeah, that is a quick look at the uh, new build for Windows 10 Mobile, 10,166. Um, another feature I did notice about this game in the last build is the private notification settings where you can actually set your notification to private. So if you go to notifications and actions, you can see all your apps. You can actually go in to it for instance and you can make it private so uh, if I make this private for instance and when your phone is locked it doesn't actually reveal what that notification is until you unlock your phone so so as you can see the Facebook beta says private but once I unlock my phone and swipe it down again it now shows you so that's a nice uh, privacy feature for Windows 10 mobile so apart from that the main takeaway is it's smoother now it's more responsive i definitely do recommend installing this on your device i'm running this on a lima 830 so um which has a snapdragon 400 processor in it with one gig ram so uh 
I don't know how this runs on 512 Lumia devices, but if you do have a one gig RAM Lumia device, you should have similar experience. Um, I don't know if I talked about the new animation for the contacts or the people hub, as you can see. Uh, there are mixed reactions to this new animation here by Microsoft. Um, I think it's, I, I don't really care really, but it does give it a different feel, makes the uh, star screen look less boring. But then again, there are a lot of complaints about the circular contacts, which we all know uh, Windows 10 is more modern or metro with the squares. I, I don't have a problem with this. It's nice. It just gives the whole uh, star screen new look, a dynamic look. It makes it more interesting. And I hope to see more changes, more exciting changes to the star screen. And that obviously would bring more users to the platform. But apart from that, um, that is it with uh, 10,166. Um, I do recommend using this. I was using uh, 149 previously. I have been since that was released and I will continue to use 166, uh, which I have seen so far, it's pretty stable. Um, now that the store app is gone because the old store actually caused a lot of problems with updating apps so that's gone so everything looks uh, better now so yeah you can give it a try uh, once again this is easy thanks for watching